Jumpy jump jump jump. I just gotta put more social into my social life, Chloe. If I have to spend one more weekend at home helping Uncle Quigley label his potato chip collection, I'll. Hey, Sabrina. Hi, Chloe. Yo, dudettes. Wanna help us make spitballs for study hall? Much as we'd like to chew paper with you guys, we've got stuff to do. What's more important than a good spitball? Oh, I wouldn't miss it for anything. It's only the special event of the year. Social event? It'll be the ultimate Halloween party. Jem is having french fries flown in from France. Halloween party? Jem is having a Halloween party? Of course I'm going. Everyone in her room is invited. Chloe, Jem's having a Halloween party. But why would she invite everyone in the class except you and me? Uh, you're not invited? You are? Well, but I haven't said yes, exactly. Look, I'm sure your invitation must have just slipped Jim's mind. That must be it. So I said, please, no one wears pearls with a nose ring. <laughs> Especially not after Labor Day. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I drop a few subtle hints. Hi, Jim. Mind if I join the party? It's a free country, Spellman. The only way you could afford it. <laughs> Good one, Jem. You know, hanging with you is always such fun. Almost like, oh, um, an invitation to a party. Really? Because hanging out with you is a lot like having a tooth pulled. <laughs> <laughs> There's that great sense of humor again. You're a regular party animal. <laughs> Are those supposed to be hints, Spellman? Because they're pretty lame, even for you. Okay, it's true. I am giving a Halloween party. Why? You want to come? Well... Do you cater? Because that's the only way you're getting in. <laughs> <laughs> We've just got to go to the witch's Halloween ball. We haven't missed one in 300 years. We've got our reputations to uphold. Right! Besides, it's a great place to meet cute guys. Trouble is, Uncle Quigley will never let us go. You know how he feels about us partying with other witches. Yeah. So, the question is, how do we get rid of Uncle Quigley? Ah, uh, you got the mail. Oh, hi, Uncle Q. Anything interesting? I'll say, according to my new Chip and Dip Monthly, they're having a rare potato chip auction tomorrow in Flatley. Gee, that just makes me tingly all over. Or maybe my butt's asleep. And look, one of the items up for bid is a potato chip in the shape of Missouri. Not... The Missouri chip. Oh, how many more men must die for that salty tuber? How many more lives ruined? <laughs> <laughs> Fine, laugh if you want, but it's just what I need to finish my chips of the 50 states collection. It's the only one I'm missing. <laughs> oh! Run for oh! cover! Angry preteener! Save yourselves! <laughs> Something uh, wrong, Sabrina? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> What's gotten into her? <sighs> okay, Spill. I got it narrowed down to school trouble, boy trouble, or the world's biggest bunion. It's Jem. She humiliated me in front of our whole homeroom class. I see. And where did you want to be humiliated? She's throwing a Halloween party for the kids in homeroom, and I'm the only one not invited. So you're not invited. You don't even like Jem. Why would you want to go to her party? I don't want to go to her party. I just don't want to be the only one not to go. So you want to go, but you don't want to not go if you're going, but my head hurts. Jem thinks she's such hot stuff. I bet I could throw a Halloween party that would leave hers in the dust. OK, so you don't want to go, but you don't want her not to go if you're going or not. Right? Does any of this lead to tuna? Wait, I got an idea. That's right, I'm having a Halloween party this Friday night and everyone's invited. Nice try, Spellman. Have you forgotten my party is this Friday? Oh, that's right, you weren't invited. Guess that makes me the lucky one. Tell you what, let's let everybody decide whose party they'd rather go to, yours or mine. <laughs> Why would anyone want to go to your lame party when they could be munching caviar hors d'oeuvres at mine? 
Yum! Maybe because they'll be scarfing down disturbingly enormous pizza at mine. Ooh! Uh-huh. And are you having music by a real live DJ? Ah! No. I'm having a real live band. Wow! Good save. My parents are letting us have the entire ballroom. <gasps> um, uh... Well, Spellman? My uncle won't be home. <gasps> Yay! How are you going to get rid of your uncle? I have absolutely no idea. No hard feelings, Jem. Say, now that you're not doing anything Friday night, why don't you come to my party? Love to. And this better be a great party, Spellman. Or you might as well not show your face in the seventh grade again. I'm sure it'll be unforgettable, even with you there. Oh, make sure it is. Oh, man. This'll be one party I can't wait to trick or treat. Trick or treat? That's for kids. Remember, we're in the seventh grade. <laughs> That's what I mean, huh? dude. This could be our last chance to be immature preteeners. Besides, it'll be fun. Just leave everything to old pie. Pizza costs how much? No way! For that price, I'll make it myself. Hmm, let's see. Cheese, tomato sauce, pepperoni. Stomach pump. I've seen you cook. That should leave me with $10. Hi, you book bands for parties? What kind of a band could I get for $10? A rubber band? Sounds great. Tell them to be at the Spellman House Friday night. This party's going to be totally cool. Better than any party Jen could throw. She'll be positively green with envy. There's just one little eensy beensy problem that may have escaped your attention. You promised everyone Uncle Quigley wouldn't be here. Oh, right. Hmm, how could I get rid of Quigley? Hmm, how can we get rid of Quigley? Uh, baked potatoes, sweet potatoes, and mashed potatoes. All in the shape of Missouri. <laughs> Uncle Quigley, is there something on your mind? What? Oh, I I'm sorry. I guess I've got potatoes on the brain. I just can't stop thinking about that tantalizing chip. Oh, if only I could get to that auction Friday night. Friday, Friday night? night? Oh, you've got to go. Uh, you can't miss that auction. It's, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We, we insist. insist. Gee, that's sweet of you girls. But I just couldn't leave you alone on Halloween night without adult supervision. We can babysit Sabrina. We're 600 years old. How adult do you have to be? Well... Great. Then it's settled. Come on, I'll help you pack. Uh, but, uh... I know why I wanted him gone Friday. I want to give a Halloween party. How about you? We're headed to the witch's Halloween ball. That is, if we can find an adult to babysit you. Hey, what am I, kitty litter? You're a cat. Hey, I'm older than you, and I can lick my back. Thanks, Salem. With you helping, the kids at school will be talking about this party for years. Helping out? I didn't say I'd help. Ah, no fair. <laughs> Ooh, little more to the left. <laughs> I'm counting on you girls to take care of things while I'm gone. And remember, no witchcraft. Bye, Bye Uncle Quigley. Quigley. Have a nice trip. Trip. Boy, I thought he'd never leave. We'd better get going or we'll be late for the ball. Good luck with your party, Sabrina. We've got to get moving. I want everything perfect when my guests arrive, especially Jen. Uh, excuse me, but is cheese pizza supposed to be black and crunchy? What? Oh, no! <coughs> it doesn't look that bad. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh! My guests are here and the food's not ready! Jem will never let me live this down. Well, you are a witch, aren't you? Sorry, Uncle Quigley. Boil and bubble, broil and bake, enormous pizza you will make! Hope we're not 
that early. No, I was just finishing up with the pizza. How quaint. A do-it-yourself party. Love your costume. Powdered doofus. It's really you. <laughs> <laughs> you will not ruin my Halloween gemstone. Let's party! So, we're gonna sneak into the party the back way. We'll scare the heck out of everyone. So, Why would we want to do that? So, oh man, don't you know anything? It's like a guy tradition. So, Well? Here we all are. So, let's get the ball rolling. I know, conversation. That's always good at a party. So what do we talk about? Anyone? Well, here we all are. Well, there is this cool new TV show I saw. It's really... <laughs> No, let's mingle. I mean with each other. Boys and girls, we are in the seventh grade. I can't let Spellman get this party off on the right foot. Anyone for pizza? Great idea! I'm starved! You haven't lived until you've tasted Spellman's special pizza. The taste is almost magical. On and on, but please do it on the lawn. Oh, I tell you, if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't have believed it. Huh? Why, thank you, Jem. That's the nicest thing anybody's ever said about my pizza. But, but things flying through the air. I, I saw. Get a grip, Jem. Let's eat. Want to grab those pizzas and some sodas, Jem? Good trick, Spellman. Just to make me look bad. Oh my! How clumsy of me! <laughs> Pizza? Party's all wet. It's still not too late to go to my house for a real Halloween party. Wait, the band's here. Trust me, you're gonna love this. Mm. I'll show Jem I know how to throw a party, and on a budget, too. Spellman residence? Uh, yes? <laughs> That's it? One man and one lousy song? What'd you expect for ten bucks? A Beatles reunion? Oh, man. I can't go back in there. Jem will never let me hear the end of this. My life is ruined. I can never go back to school again. Think. What does a Spellman do when her party's dying? Call for help in the witch's yellow pages. 
Let's see, parties, parties, here it is. Party Perkers, need to put life back into a dead party? Chant party, hearty, abracadabra. Party, hearty, abracadabra. <laughs> is this the Spellman party? Guacamole! I was just trying to give a better party than Gems. Well, don't worry. I don't think she can top dead clowns. What'll I do? They're sure to notice. Well, you go round up Coco the corpse and put him in the cellar. I'll try to contact Hilda and Zelda before any more entertainment shows up. Stay there. Yeah, <laughs> there's got to be a way to get inside, dude. How about the front door? If you're gonna scare people, you gotta make an entrance where they least expect it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hi! Hi! Get out of that cellar right now! Hey, amigo. Where are you, Harvey? Yeah. Oh, there you are. I don't know how we did it, but we're in, man. Come on. We can give the gang a scare they'll never forget. Yeah. <laughs> Lose something, Jim? Spellman's up to something to try and save this disaster of a party. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Hey, what's that? <laughs> if Spellman's planned some lame Halloween surprise, I'll put a stop to it. Wanna play a game of Twisted? I couldn't have seen what I saw. Spellman must have tricked me, and I fell for it. Well, she'll pay for that. Just as soon as I figure out how. I lost <gasps> my head over you. Didn't I tell ya? Way cool, dude. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Where'd you go? Yeah. You shouldn't be here. Huh? It was all a big mistake. You're going back to the cellar. Aw, but I just came from there. Yeah. Now get down there and stay there. Hilda Zelda, am I glad to see you. So it's all the fuss that Salem had to call us back from the witch's ball? I was just trying to show Jem I could throw a better party than she could. But things sort of got, er, out of control. <laughs> kind of like that. Having a good time, Jeff? More pizza? All right. Just what kind of Halloween party is this, Spellman? It would have been a great party if you hadn't been so busy trying to put Sabrina down. That's telling her, Chloe. And you're just as bad, Sabrina. You almost wrecked your own party trying to outdo Jim. You could have both had a good time if you hadn't been so competitive. But who are they? Just a bunch of guys in masks. Like us. What's everybody standing around for? Let's get some life into this party! If you think a little music is gonna save your pitiful excuse for a Halloween party, Sabrina Spellman, you... Say, you're really light on your feet. See you at school, Sabrina. Great party. Well, looks like your Halloween party was a success. Everybody said they had a good time, even Jim. I think she only said that because she found a new boyfriend. Wait till she meets his family. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Quigley, oh no, just look at this place. My cleaning spell's a little rusty, but it'll do in a pinch. Welcome home, Uncle Quigley. 
It's good to be home. And I must say, everything looks in order. You know, I had my doubts about leaving you alone, especially on Halloween. But it's good to see you can take care of yourselves without using witchcraft. Uh, Uncle Quigley, that's not exactly true. I used some witchcraft uh, when I had a Halloween party tonight. And Hilda and I left Sabrina alone with Salem while we went to the witch's ball. Well, I am disappointed. But I can't be too angry. After all, I got my potato chip in the shape of Missouri. And you all told the truth. You are learning something about responsibility. But you're still grounded for two weeks. Huh? <gasps> Three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>